Well, everybody, Mike here, and as you can see, we have the Echo Show 15 just delivered. So this is the first time with the Echo Show 15, so I'm going to do an unboxing, first impressions. All right, this is a fairly new product from Amazon. Took about a month to finally be delivered, so it looks like they're a little bit back ordered. So it is the Echo Show 15 for 15 inches screen. So let's go ahead and unbox this, see what we got in here. So there you go, right off the bat. So it kind of looks like a picture frame without the picture. Here it is. So we do have bracket, comes with it. You can mount this on the wall or you can get a stand like me. It is sold separately. Have a little pamphlet, manual, right? And then here is your cable power cord. So this goes into the wall and the other end goes into the echo. And then it does give you screws, washers to mount to the wall. So once you power it on, the echo will take you through some basic questions like verifying who you are and where you live, and then it'll do some updates and then you can get started. So it does ask you to set up profiles for everyone in the family. So it'll have their appointments and reminders for everyone's Alexa. So it does mention that it can help monitor your home because it allows all the members of your household to check out the Echo Show camera anytime, anywhere through the Alexa app. So once you are done setting up the device, you will be taken to this home screen, which you can customize the widgets. So the widgets are pretty nice. Also at the top, you can close the camera so you can keep that on and off the little cover that pops on it. That's a pretty nice feature. Probably keep that on most of the time. So this is a 15 inch screen, so you do have the video option. So you can keep this in your room and you can actually watch Netflix Prime Video on it as you can see. So there is the option to go to your routines and play all of them. Wait, it does have a feature, it's time for Prime. Right, so it'll say that it'll turn on your TV direct to Prime Video, dim the lights, and announce when ready. So that's a pretty interesting feature. You do you can turn that on and off. So there is also the option to access your smart home features. So you can adjust the heat if you have this set up. Right, so I have this hooked up to the Alexa app. Right, so you can adjust the heat or the air conditioner, turn on lights. Right, and then there is the option for that one specifically to adjust the brightness. It shows the lights that are on and then the lights that are off, and you can turn them on and off from the actual Echo Show 15. So let's try this one. Right, there you go. Studio lights, and then it turns them right back on. So that's a pretty cool feature. So there is also the option to adjust the widgets. So we can go in the widget gallery and here are some of the things you can put on the home screen, calendars, photos, games, maps. So if you wanted to show, if you got a product being delivered from Amazon soon, it'll show up there. Smart home favorites, sticky notes, weather, definitely a popular one. Um, so there's the deliveries at the bottom. So that'll be pretty cool. So it should automatically adjust when you have an Amazon package about to be delivered. So that's pretty nice. So it does have adapted brightness. So it'll automatically adjust the brightness based on the available light. It will turn off based on if there is a light on. So the light's on, right? So playing with it but if you turn off the light it goes into sleep mode so it'll save some energy going off but then you turn on the light it will turn back on so as you can see it is a very nice screen that you can customize i do like it overall right now it's going for about 250 dollars here is a quick comparison between the echoes so it kind of just depends if you want a more TV-like Echo Show. 
right? It is the same price as the 10. 10 is about 10.1 inches, 1280 times 800 resolution, where the Echo 15 is 15.6 inches with 1920, 1080 resolution. So the resolution is slightly better, and then you also get bigger screen size with that. So with the 10, you do get two tweeters, right, and a woofer. With the 15, you do just get the two speakers. So between the 10 and the 15, I would suggest if you're looking more for display, watching movies, it's more customized towards your family, I would spend the money to get the 15. If you care more about sound, I would go with the 10, right, between these two here. If you're looking for kind of display and decent sound, the Echo Show 8 or the 5, I think will work out well for you. I have an Echo Show 8, it's pretty nice. Um, but between these two, just depending on if you care more about sound, opposed to the display, the Echoes tend to pack a lot of punch for the size as far as sound goes. So I definitely play a lot of music on the Echo Shows. So in general, I would probably prefer something that sounds better opposed to the size. This does come in handy, right, for the widgets because you have a big screen there to see a lot of things just at a quick glance in the morning. You can check the traffic, um, check the weather all quickly. You can do that on this as well. It's just much easier to see on the 15. So overall, the Echo Show looks pretty nice so far. We'll have to see how it lasts and works over the long haul. I would say that the Echo Show 15 is decently priced, considering that it is exactly the same as the 10. Typically with a larger screen size, you do have to pay more money. So you could argue that you're getting a better deal getting the Echo Show 15, but it's all up to you and what you prefer. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next video.